Hello there, everyone. Ash and Flash here. Welcome on in to my June 1st haul. Uh, this is the first package to arrive of many. Um, I don't think I've ever been sent this much stuff, and I think that it's just because June is also just a really crazy time of year. So very, very grateful to you guys for putting me in this position, Lego and Land, for sending me this stuff. We're going to have reviews of everything that uh, you're going to see. So let's go ahead and let's open up package number one here. And by the time you're seeing this, I think maybe some reviews might have already happened. So first up, we've got the Harry Potter sets. This is the one I think that I'm gonna build first because I'm most excited for the Battle of Hogwarts this incredible expansion um, to this. And you might be thinking, yeah, it doesn't look like much. The, the courtyard, we've already had one. But like these figures are crazy. But uh, if you didn't see that other video, it can transform into the bridge. Here we have Dobby the house elf. Little buildable Dobby there. This one, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm torn about it. But uh, the new Diagon Alley system here Weasley's wizard wheezes with the new shop up there as well. You know, that's pretty exciting. Figures are great. And this one is so unique. Cool to see it up close here because in, in high quality, because we never saw that before. That's what Lupin looks like when we did the video. It was uh, very blurry photos, but uh, awesome to see. Here we have the Quidditch trunk. And I still have to get last year's trunk, but uh, I'm excited with this one because you could play it like three different games or something. You've got all of those parts there. You can see if I flip it around. Here's what the back looks like. So the three training games. And then this one, I'm also so excited about this. It is the new Hogwarts Express. The first one since 2018 here. And it's a much larger model than the other one, but I love the Hogsmeade station. Okay, so here's the next set of boxes. Um, yeah, never had this many arrive on the same day before. This is, uh, actually uh, a couple of different things. One of them I was not offered, but I'm glad it's here. <laughs> um, yeah, the Batcave was just revealed. I don't believe it's here, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I don't really know where to begin. It's actually quite fitting to start with this one here. You'll see why as I, uh open this up you could probably tell by what i'm talking about here as i say that miss the side there but uh you could probably tell what i'm talking about there we go we've got uh the michael keaton buildable figure here which you know it's honestly one of my favorites they've done but i'm just I ain't feeling these, but you know, it's, it's the Batcave day, so it's fitting, right? I thought, you know what, let's continue this theme, shall we? I believe I know what this is because of how loose it's all moving around. Oh, it's not. Okay, I ruined the, the streak, I guess. This is the incredible Disney 100 icons set for the villains, and I'm just... So excited about this. I thought that all of the small pe the uh, small superhero sets were all moving around in here, but I guess I was wrong. This is just like a dream come true, this set with these figures and just everything, these references. Now I'm actually a little concerned I wasn't sent the Marvel sets, it looks like, because I these boxes are way too heavy to be those, so... Anyways, here, this is what is unexpected here. I guess, oh, they sent this in two boxes, so I've never had this happen before. I saw through the tape that I was sent City, but I didn't think it was in this box. Anyways, yeah, wasn't offered it. I'd only been offered it one other time for stunts. I declined it. Luckily, the summer wave is great. So yeah, here is... Uh, Here's this underwater one. I don't have the names for some reason on the boxes, but uh, cool. This is like the apartment complex here. And uh, again, I don't even know what's been offered. I don't know if it was every set or not, but 
This is my one of my favorites, if not my favorite, the Ski Resort Sporting Complex. I think I've got the name right for that one. But uh, I love all of the figures here. And I've never seen them in this high quality yet because they were all the blurry images before. But that's exciting. All right. I know what this one is. Let's, let's do this next, shall we? This one... is Ninjago City Markets, a sequel to two of my favorite sets of all time. And I am so, so excited to have this. Okay, so let's see if I can do this with one hand here. I can, kinda, it's gonna fall. But uh, here it is, the incredible, Incredible, huge, biggest Ninjago set of all time. And here's all the figures in higher quality too that I didn't have from the press kit with these specific pictures. And same with the ones that are on the top. I did not have these pictures, so they look so cool. What an awesome love letter for the figures, at least two fans of the show. The set itself, I still think is Oh, I'm so excited to build this. It's pretty, but uh, not as good as gardens, I don't think. All right, let's open this one. Here we go. This is the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary set. The most exciting one, I think for sure, is the visitor center here regardless of it being small and all that i still think the fact that we're getting it is really really awesome oh my goodness i cannot wait to build it and see they've never posted a picture without the dinosaur in the front so the dilophosaurus ambush with a speed champions sort of style car i would say and the uh dilophosaurus and Oh my goodness, the figure in here too, it's so, so great. Got the small 4 plus Raptor set there, and uh, it comes with Robert Muldoon, which is the biggest draw, and a second Raptor, which is great, because there are two uh, in the final fight, so. And here we've got uh, the uh, other iconic jurassic vehicle there and we've got the triceratops and the big big pile of poop and then this is probably the one that i get the comments most about is oh my gosh a brachiosaurus which is our first time ever getting that and i think people are just so 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 excited to get that and uh, the tree again and we've got the jeep there too all right so no marvel sets because i can see what these last two are and uh the marvel embargo is today so yeah, that's not sure what's going to happen with that. But anyways, we've got all of the city sets here. Okay, this is the one that is probably the most exciting. The uh, town center. I cannot wait to build this. I Again, I didn't think I was being set this, so this is so cool. Look at all the parts there to build that up. Wow, wow, wow. All right, here we have the new modern family house here. And uh, this one, it looks pretty big, the box size and the set itself looks small, but it's compact. There's a ton of rooms here that I have no idea how they all fit in such a small little set. All right, and here is the four plus set. And for me, the biggest uh, draw here is that really cool two by four tile of the blueprints for that building that we saw before but uh it's four plus you know uh this one's really cool it's got uh a fully grown where are they <laughs> they're down here fully grown sea turtle and the baby one hammerhead shark and the boat's a boat but uh very excited for the underwater stuff in that set whoa this thing's huge this is the skate park wow the box is massive for this one but uh that's really cool i'm I'm so excited about this. I really like this skate park system. Here we have the car wash. By the way, all this is modular. I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, specifically, you can connect all these different buildings to each other. Um, there's all these 
different spots. I guess it's not pictured here, but uh, maybe it's gonna be here in the ice cream shop. You can see some bits there. Nope, they've covered it up. Love that ice cream cone and the drips coming on down. But uh, yeah, this part here specifically, that pops off so you can connect it to other buildings. We've got here, this adorable little small Arctic set with the sea lions, with the seals. And then here, oh, it got stuck. We've got this cool Arctic lab one. And uh, yeah, we've got this huge snow plow there and uh, they're mining crystals and things. There's some polar bears up above. And last but certainly not least here, we've got uh, the uh, Arctic Explorer boat there. And this is massive. It's got uh, this incredible orca whale piece. And I really like some of the figures here in this set. But uh, yeah, ton of play features here. And uh, it does, it does float. Boats float. All right. And last but certainly not least here. Pretty sure this should be, at least I hope, because it's soon, the Ninjago Dragons Rising sets. Start the little, the little spinners here. This is the Nia Dragon Power Drift, and I believe they all do something different. See, so it drifts forward and sideways. And I think this one here, this is Lloyd's Power Spin. Uh, this one just spins, but I know for sure this one has a specific name. It's uh, Kai's Dragon Power Flip. So it it that picture makes me think it can flip. So that, that's pretty neat. Um, where to start? Here we have the Heat Wave Transforming Lava Dragon, which I didn't realize has a transformation. I didn't have this picture before, so that's so, so cool. Look at it up there, transforming. I like that one a lot. But uh, this one here, this is one of the ones that I was shown in Denmark when I was there. This is Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team Mex. And uh, this one, again, because I didn't have the pictures to show, but this sits inside of the little chest cavity there. So that's really cool. It pops on out there. This is, I think, everyone's favorite set, I believe, of the wave. This is the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. Really cool looking just temple. Like it's it's so different and, and it stands out with this tree going through this. I think it's super, super exciting. There's also, again, I haven't really seen the interior here. That's, that's my favorite, I think, for sure. Here we have Kai and Roz's car and bike battle. This is a four plus set. It screams four plus, obviously. I love the artwork on that. Wow, look at all them there. We've got uh, the Imperium Dragon Hunter Hound. Pretty good set, I think, for something this small. Here is another 4+, plus, Nia and Aaron's Dragon Baby Dragon Battle. And uh, this is the first set that we saw for the new series. And yeah, it's 4+. It's, it's, it's fun, you know. I don't know. Here we have... Zane's and Zane's Dragon Power Spinjitsu race car. And I like it. You know, it's it's sort of like other vehicles we've gotten before, but it's in Zane's colors. We've got all these cool ice pieces there in the front. It comes with Cole and Zane too together. So that's pretty cool. This is another one that I really like. This is Sora's Transforming Mech bike racer. And it comes with all three of the like new main characters. So I think this is definitely one that I would pick up if I wasn't being sent these just because I would want the new characters. That's what I always go for for waves of sets is I want to get all the minifigures. So this is, if I spin it around, we've got the Elemental Dragon versus the Empress Mech. And Dragon looks cool. It's it's very colorful, very lightning-y, I guess. Jay's included, which is fitting, I think, and Zane and... Uh, that figure, I think, is exclusive to the set. I really love the mech, though. That's so cool. And last, but certainly not least, is the new Dragons Rising Destiny Bounty Race Against Time set. And, uh, yeah, this is difficult to hold up, but it's a new bounty. I really like that small dragon there. I think that's great. And, uh, again, haven't seen pictures of the interior here, but 
just all the parts that are able to be removed and uh there's a better look there at like the large center section the dragon can sit inside which is pretty cool really like that concept all right let's go ahead and let's open up this is the next day now i think this should be the final package here yes it is here we have the disney 100 sets that are dropping on june 1st besides the icons one this is the cool art portrait one and then we've got uh, the disney duos here with uh, characters from Moana and Pocahontas, Finding Nemo, and Beauty and the Beast. Cool that all their little logos are there. Also on the back, they've got like reference pictures and also years for everyone. That's really cool. And lastly, wow, this box is massive. Oh my gosh, this is the, what is this? The Enchanted or the, I think it's the, yeah, Enchanted Tree House, I think for Disney Princess. 13 mini dolls. A ton of firsts here. But wow, this is this is crazy. Like it it's perfectly inside of this box here. Yeah, I I've reviewed I think some mini doll sets before, but this is going to be uh this is going to be a really exciting one. I think a lot of people even non-mini doll fans are excited. All right, well, here here you go. This is my crazy haul. Uh, we've never had anything quite like this before. Uh, I think that the city stuff is really overwhelming. Um, if you add the Marvel sets, that that's four of them. Also, we're getting sent the Batcave. So there's a couple of other things here um, that are that should be a part of this, but I, I just don't have them right now. I just have to first and foremost say thank you to you guys. Like we're coming up on five years on the channel, the first or second week of June. And this is my life. This is my job. And I never in a million years would have thought five years ago that that I would be in this position. So thank you to you guys for watching the videos and just being a part of the community. And thank you to Lego and and Lan, Lego and Lan, <laughs> for sending this to me and just making like a really good batch of summer sets. Let me know down below of like Harry Potter, what's your favorite city, etc. And I think that the most exciting ones I will try and do first. Anyways, subscribe turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on all of this stuff again thank you guys so so much uh it's gonna be a busy couple of weeks i will see you all in the next one